All right, this video is on temporary pacemaking. We're gonna go over the epicardial pacemaker. Um, this is the settings that are usually on the pacemaker right when the patient gets back. Um, this is an open heart patient. Um, we can use this temporary pacemaker on other patients as well that maybe have a transvenous pacemaker, but I'm gonna show you what exactly you're gonna look for and what you're gonna do with an epicardial pacemaker. Okay, on the patient here, you wanna make sure that these um, connections are tight. What's happening sometimes, these lock and then unlock, and then you have to push this button and these wires come up. And I don't know if you can, can you see the silver part? When it's up like that, a lot of times this is getting bent and then ripped. So just make sure that you have to push on this, push on this, make sure that's all the way in and then see how it's unlocked. You wanna switch it to locked. So then you actually can't push on that and these won't come out. And it'll just protect that connection right there where they're getting torn sometimes, okay? So that's what you do at the patient's site, just as an assessment part. And then I'm gonna have, go ahead and pause. Okay, so to check, first of all, if this is a new patient and you they're being 100% paced. You can see our pacer spikes right here. Right now, this patient is V paced. Then you can look on your pacemaker and it will tell you the same thing. Right now we're A sensing. See the light is flashing blue, it's under sense. And we're V pacing. So you can look at your pacemaker and whichever lights are flashing, that will help tell you what's happening and they should correlate to what's happening on the monitor. So if this was a brand new patient and I didn't know that, and these were both saying paced and he was 100%, to check for an underlying rhythm, I'm first gonna um, dial down my rate and just see if his own intrinsic rhythm will kick in. So it always does this, it will always be locked, just hit the lock key and then you'll be able to move these dials. So I'm gonna slowly turn down my rate and see if his own rhythm will kick in. So did you see that? So now I no longer have spikes. And also here it says sense and sense. So it's sensing his own intrinsic rhythm. So we're good. This patient has an underlying rhythm. Now we can go on and check for um, output thresholds and sensitivity thresholds, which I will show you next. So um, sensitivity is the most confusing. So we're gonna do sensitivity first and we're gonna check it one at a time. To do that, his own intrinsic rate, let's see, is Andrea Crystal. around 82. So we're just gonna set this 10 points lower. So we could go up to 72. We're gonna to go to 70. For sensitivity, also you wanna turn your outputs down as low as you can. So just turn them down to one on both of them. And then we're going down here to sensitivity. This is the A sensitivity. Right now it's set at 0.5. So these arrows move across here. So right now we're highlighting A sensitivity. What, what you do with A sensitivity is you're just gonna look at the, you don't even need to look at the patient's rhythm. All you need to look at is the pacer box. So we're gonna turn up. We're gonna continue to turn up the sensitivity until that sense light stops flashing. That means we're turning up the fence. It's like a fence. Like, so right now I can see the patient, but if I were to put this barrier between us, I could no longer see the patient. That's what sensitivity is. The higher the sensitivity, the less the machine can see the patient's rhythm. That's what sensitivity is. So we're gonna turn up, see how high we have to go on sensitivity before the machine no longer can sense the patient's rhythm. So right there. See how I lost my sensitivity and now it's trying to pace, but the high outputs aren't high enough to pace. So my a atrial sensitivity threshold, I'm gonna go back down just to see if we get a blue dot. So right there. So my a sensitivity is 2.5 because I no longer ha can the patient the device can no longer see the impatient the patient's intrinsic rhythm because it can no longer sense it the blue light is gone that's a sensitivity okay you would do that same thing on V sensing 
um, and you would just do the exact same thing. So we go to V, we're gonna turn it all the way up, well, just slowly turn it up until we see over here the ventricular sense light should stop blinking right there so it's pretty high your resensitivity goes up a lot higher than your a that says 14 12 there's 10 so i would say your v your ventricular sensitivity threshold is 12 and your atrial sensitivity threshold is 2.5 so where do I go from here? Well, you half that or lower to get your set, to get your settings. So that's why we don't always check sensitivity because really, oh, we don't want async. We don't want, we want the pacemaker to sense the patient's intrinsic rhythm. So usually we have these just set at the lowest setting. But it's good to know exactly how to check your thresholds. Okay, pause. So, oh, it is now. Oh, you know, hit pause. <laughs> okay, flip it around to your face and blow. Okay. Did you hit go? Okay. So now that we've done um, sensitivity, um, I turn the sensitivity back down um, way past half, and that's totally fine. We want the sensitivity usually all the way down. Now we're going to check for um, the outputs. How high um, does do my MA does my MA output need to be to get the response that I want? So we check those one at a time. To do that, you have to make you have to set your rate higher than their intrinsic rhythm. So we got to go up to again locked on me. So you got to go up. We're gonna go to 84 just to make sure. And we're gonna check these one at a time. So I'm gonna turn my these off. So right, already right now, I might have to turn this up a little bit more because his rate might be going. It's saying we're pacing sometimes, but we're also sensing sometimes. So we're gonna turn this up until it's just pacing. So even if it's those, both those lights are flashing, you still should be able to turn up the MAs until you see a response, as long as you're higher than what their rate is. So. We're not seeing pace or spikes here. It's staying at pace, but we're not seeing it up here. So we're gonna continue to increase our MAs until we see it pace at 100%. Maybe, there we go. So we're not quite 100%, kind of skipped there. Maybe, you kind of just have to watch it for a minute. So. 3.5, we're 100%, we're gonna go back down and see, now we lost some capture. So our threshold is 3.5 on our atrial output, okay? So for this patient, to that's your threshold, you're gonna double it, so we're just gonna go up to six. And that's where you would leave it for this patient if you wanted them paced higher. Okay, now we're gonna go to, we're gonna turn off the A's so it doesn't confuse you. And now we're gonna go to the ventricles and see how high our output needs to be.